my own place right next to the map, bro. I can be there in the shake of a head, bro. Pull shit down like a temple. Everybody listen to techno, now let's go. Oh, I'm on my Jamie Duggan. She pulled in with a crazy cousin. Dabble in ideology with, without without um, identifying with an ideology. Yeah, yes. You know, you can be like, well, I find this interesting. I find feminism interesting. I find Christianity interesting, but I'm not going to die on that hill. Yeah. And I'm not going to get... I'm not going to spit the dummy out if someone questions that it's ideology. Like, like, everyone's the opposite to that. That's yeah. The, that's, the, that's the issue, man. Like, every, literally, both both sets. You know what I'm talking about. And it's yeah. just like, like, you know, it's like it's that whole thing. They don't entertain a thought. Like, mm. you know, like they just... Nah, man. Yes. Well, they use... Um, there's like... To borrow a term, they think of it in a binary sense. They yeah. think of it as like... Just, Which is, you are that or not. If you're not that, okay. Both... Like, people like... We're not icons on a screen that you can just put in a box. Like, we are actually... No. <laughs> I mean, forget... Uh, unless, unless you're taking a, a cartoon photo of your face, because then you're just giving it away. Both the left and the right use radical centrist as a slur. Yeah. If you're if you're like wishy washy, if you're not like yeah. all your eggs in one basket, yeah. they attack lean. you. I'm just a little for not bit having lean a team. to the left, I'd say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, just okay, a bit yeah, lean. Yeah, like, okay, I'm not. I'm not swaying anyway. I vote, I vote green every. I'm not swinging no, no, you, you, You're planking on the left. Yeah, exactly. Apparently, I'm not. Really <laughs> Um, no, you, top I mean, I, I posted my. I put you saw my political political compass test. Yes. Slap bang in the middle. Yeah. yeah but yeah. but I did follow up like, with. Did you ace it? What the hell? I, 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 I did follow up with. <laughs> I, um, I, I did follow up with the fact that Tommy Robinson was also in the, yeah. in the center when he did it. Uh, <laughs> so I don't know. So maybe it's you, Tommy, with man. great power. I I, great I think power. I do think they've like I do think they've set the algorithm on that compass so that. It's really, really hard to be right wing. Like yeah. you have to be like you uh, have to be. Totally it's right. just propaganda. Like uh, Richard it's Spencer. Totally, it's totally propaganda to make. Yeah. Left. Yeah, yeah, and definitely. It's working. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, like the only, I would say, I'm socially liberal but fiscally conservative. Mm. A bit, a well, balance of both. Fiscally, it's like what taxes. You, you, you don't. You pro free market. Pro free I mean, market. I mean. I, Lately, I don't trust governments to spend money the right way. I like what J. Cole said on that song where he's like, let me decide what I'm spending on an app. Yeah. On an app, like, what do you mean? Yeah, like if there's public policy decisions, instead of like just electing these leaders, have certain policies you can choose. Oh, yes, app. yes, yeah. I'm I like gonna, that. Like I've got $10,000 tax. Mm. I'm going to spend this much on this, this much mm. on that. Yeah. If you could choose that rather than just trusting the government. But do you, think, do you think people would be... Uh, philanthropic enough to do that, charitable enough to do that, or would there, do you no, mean it would be optional? They have so they have to pick something. Okay. Of, so they've so just got. I mean, I, I think you'd have to bookmark certain things off. So like you know, like the fire, fire brigade, the essential. Right, right. Like, you'd yeah. have to bookmark some of the stuff, but then like other yeah, things. So yeah. like, like whether you want to support like like parks. Or so you have to spend hundred quid a year, yeah. Yeah. whatever. By the end of the month, you have to choose what you're going to spend it on. Because here, see all this. Uh, I keep getting, we keep getting letters through the thing about council tax. But yeah. Love that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> council tax. I'm not down with that. Nah. It's you're like you're low taxes. And I have to pay that for. I didn't realize I had to pay that for the rest of my life. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We live on the Queen's land. It's not our land yeah. um, technically. Uh, they can. They could legally, technically, tell anyone to go at any point. <laughs> is that why? Is that? If I was king, I would, man. I'd just turn up people's houses. Like, <laughs> Harry, 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 sling it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Imagine if Harry gets assassinated and it's Megan. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, no, no. Is that why we can't just kill swans? Bro, yeah, yeah, you can't, can't do that, man. <sighs> yeah, protect the swan. I'm with that. I'm with that. No, no, man. man. Crush your dream. Yeah. Them bitches like appetizing. Yeah. 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 Did you ever see? Uh, I know you'll know Innuendo. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. ever see? He did like a video, <laughs> like what, years ago, just on Facebook talking. Well, I know he's a pedophile. He's a pedophile. Yes, I, heard, yeah. I only knew that. I only learned that very recently. Wait, yeah. What? Yeah, apparently he's no. He's yeah. yeah, yeah, why? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I allegedly I don't know anything about it. Like, it, yeah. he might not be there's loads of scam. Battle rap is. Uh, oh, congrats on your battle, by the way. Oh, that was very very <laughs> yeah, no, no. <laughs> You're one of the good ones. Yeah, there's a few bad apples. Exactly not all battle rappers. Not all battle rappers. Like, no, yeah, no. I, I know exactly what you mean. Yeah. It is. It is quite weird. And like that's part. 
not one of the reasons I stepped away, but like I, it made me Cringe. be very glad I was out of that. Because like I mean, a lot, a lot of stuff did happen while I was like fully in in, in the scene, like with people. And it, well, you were but, young as fuck, well, bro. But when you I were proper young, yeah, yeah. Young. But I also think it was a bit more of like a. Oh, I don't want to say. You know, it was still in its like infancy. It wasn't at its peak popularity. Oh yeah. Right. So like, the, obviously, the more people you get involved, totally in, like, different the culture. Is gonna totally yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially when it's a thing where it's like. It, it, See it, the same it, with the rock scene, with the hip hop scene, with any it, scene. It kind it of, it kind of mm-hmm. like, it kind of like allows for narcissists and, and like allows for yes. people who don't really know because it, it gives you like a little bit of fame, or not fame. Validation, Clyde, Clyde. Yeah, yeah, it gives you a little yeah. bit of clout, attention, but, but not dangerous loads. amount of attention you but, get, but, but not not loads, not loads that you're mm-hmm. talking about here getting mobbed. But yeah, it yes. makes you think that you're important. Yeah, yeah, people, yeah, yeah. But like, dangerous, dangerous enough that people will recognise you and know. Who you are? That yeah, opens in some up, places, that in some, automatically in some opens places, up. It depends who you are. Like Shotty or Luna, then yeah, probably. But they're oh, they're arguably two of the like exceptions. Stodgy, exceptions, yeah. yeah. yeah like yeah, you remember like, that kid who was gonna knife us at Lynn's one? Yeah, like, that was. Do you know what I mean? Shit like that escalates from like <laughs> just seeing someone online and think, yeah. Well, because I have an image, then they think, mm-hmm. oh, he thinks this, this, and this. But and it, like, it's not even that. I'm talking about like the, 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 the guys themselves who are who get that elevated sense of worth yes. mm-hmm. from being a big fish in this scene that really the average person couldn't give two shits about. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it sort of gives them that sort of it gives them that sort of <laughs> ego where they can like then go out and sort of you know do yeah. dodgy shit. They carry that like, ego even yeah, outside of the scene, like, and it's yeah, yeah, and it's like no one gives a fuck. <laughs> I, mean, I, assume, I mean, I'm not. A psychologist like, that's, that's, that's I think awesome. we're all I think we're, we're all, all guilty bit psychologists yeah. these days because everyone's really into all this shit yeah, we're all like, having a collective group therapy right now yeah so it was one of the things that like didn't make me miss it for sure like, yeah I was just like you know fucking it, it, I was so glad when, whenever anything came out like that I was just like I was like fuck me guys like, there's yeah. another one and I'm just not, I'm nothing you know I don't know the guy really well mm. I don't know what the fuck's going on and that was good for me you know like, like just just being old, like you know. Yeah, yeah. Well, like I say, you know, I did battle recently. <laughs> um, but I, like again, I feel like it's just you know, I'm just kind of dipping in and out. I mean, I, I haven't even dipped back in. I'm mm. do it. Yeah, man. But, I think you just walked on water with the last one. Yeah, it was. It was a good. It. I enjoyed it, man. I enjoyed the on. I enjoyed thing that. More than I, than and the, the, the whole on beat element as well, because you get into those pockets and you have fun. Exactly. With it. Like, exactly. That was the thing. Like for me now, standing in front of a room of people and like. Like doing an acapella verse mm-hmm. with somebody, like it just doesn't it doesn't scream out as enjoyable for me anymore. Yeah, because like, you've been doing music for so long now. Yeah, well, yeah. I don't know because I'd always I'd done music before long before I'd done done battle rap, so it was. But it just to me now the feeling of doing that and like you know I feel like with on beat you can have a lot more fun with it. Yes, and, and, like you, you you don't have time or the or the lack of like having to fit to a, a time signature that you can like build up a massive thing about somebody yeah yeah, 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 yeah. build build punchlines like every two bars you've got to be saying something yeah so if you can try and weave that all together in like a multiple sort of way yeah then that's great but like it it, it just allows for like more point shit and like you say the flow's like already there you can yeah. just sort of like you can almost you can do this in a, in a cappella as well, but not not as well. Like you can sort of sell a bar with how you flow it. Yeah. And you can always do that, but on a beat, it's a lot better. It's like harder. People it are literally like feeling yeah, yeah, it yeah. with you. So in battle rap, people treat it like wrestling, and they have yeah, like their like guys. Choke, choke, choke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you have like they, people have like their guys, and if if you're one of their guys and you don't perform, it's almost like you've like betrayed them. Yeah, there's like, more pressure. They're supporting you, like want you to do well. And there's a lot more fans that sort of see it because it is like a competitive, you know, music isn't, I mean, it is competitive to a degree, but it's not as directly competitive. Yeah, it's not like the same. Like in battle rap, you've got like tiers and like match, like, you know, you wouldn't match up, you wouldn't match up somebody with somebody else because they're operating on such a high level, blah, mm. blah, blah, blah. Like, and yeah, I think that like the, the, the feedback you get after, but yeah, like when a bar pops off, it's like, it is fucking because I mean, sorry because if you release if you release a song yeah you don't get a live response yeah you get oh so and so mentioned you in their story it's not the same as yeah. as I was, I dropping was, a sick I was say, cause punchline we, you know the, the song we just dropped yeah we actually performed that live before we recorded it okay to get a and feel that energy went into the way it's, the reason yeah. why it sounds the way it sounds yeah. because we 
as we were making a lot of the album actually is like we were doing it live so we were seeing people react to it and, and that's the first thing I said to you whenever you played it at Spinks' house yes this will go off live yeah. it felt like it felt live it felt live but it, yeah. It, yeah. There, was so, there is something very it's unique about it it's like it's yeah it feels like you're performing it live even when I'm listening yeah. to it I mean I was saying this to we had an interview with Nark the other day mm. and he sort of said a similar thing and I think a lot of it is partly down to you know like the way we've recorded it it's like at 90 does my ad libs and yeah it is. Like, yeah like, yeah yeah like, as if we're like yeah it's basically like a grime cypher yeah and, like the tune is basically this one. a grime yeah. cypher yeah yeah um, so the back the back yeah like so I think that's definitely the vibe that like, you feel like you're in a rave and it's just like two MCs yeah. at the desk like going mad shout out Christina Milian shout out Christina Milian and it's the local references as well that I enjoy thank you man yeah um, there's a lot of like there's a lot of little things to catch it's yeah. just the hype track it's just like it's the a summertime album, track the it, whole album's like there's definitely like the colloquialisms and like the, yeah, the good. references and like, you gotta yeah, tap I, I, channel I, you channel you bro. I dis- people don't know that channel you yes it, it, it always used to be aka some of you <laughs> too many yeah, people shy away from that yeah. because Reckon oh it's not gonna it's not gonna appeal from. to a universal crowd that's why you gotta I'm tap doing, into like, your, your home crowd first yeah, yeah, you know what I mean sure. like H2O like those old tunes like literally the, yeah. Like I used to watch MTV Base and tell you, I used to flip between the two. Yeah. It's like yeah. It's just yeah. Like if there's not a banger on there. Sometimes it'd be a banger on there, and I'd be like, let me see what else is on the channel. But the like even channel, then, I, I the used to DJ the fucking were. music channels when I was a kid. The like, thing with channel you was like, like shit videos a lot. Of them. There was some of them. Like, yeah. yeah. And, and, and some of them. Part of why I wanted to become a director as well. Some of them were shit songs. Yeah. Some of the shit songs were shit videos, yeah. but they were on the telly, so and then like, you knew where they were from because they'd usually shout it out in the first two bars. Yeah. And the video would just be like round their ends, mm, and like yeah. it would just be like, you know, it's so rotten. And it just made you, it made you like, it gave you that belief that like, oh shit, like, I can do, do this, this. Isn't it? Because yeah. like, it's it's These literally on there. Could, yeah. yeah, like the version of me and fucking yeah. Hackney is, is on TV right now. That's interesting. Because I, I never had... Cause it's a different culture you grew up I didn't on grow up with that. You I didn't grow up, up on YouTube. That. No, but I didn't grow up with local rappers. Oh, That's right. my thing. Well, we, 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 what what was your early sense of source of like music and music videos? How do you um, initially consume music? Well, Sony Ericsson W300i. Uh, Bluetooth. Bluetooth. Bluetooth game. Yeah, that was a game changer. Yeah. That, was, we, that was a whole era. MC Smalley, bro. That was a whole era. MC Smalley. I yeah. never had him. We had like DJ, like DJs, DJ Kami yeah, and stuff. DJ Kami like, was yeah. a big one here as well. Yeah. Yeah. But we had, we had like all the monkey shit, like all the new yeah, monkey man. shit. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I never I never knew that yeah, over, over an hour and a half. Because like, so, MC Smalley was from like Manchester or something, like all right really? there. Uh, from the northwest. He, he is from the northwest. He says, he says, if you don't know him from the northwest, yeah. Um, so yeah, like but he was like the big, like that song. If you play that song, MC Smalley made, they would yeah. go off. Everybody around here so cool. knows it word for word. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. that came from Bluetooth, man. If Bluetooth, if every Bluetooth like was money to the artist, MC mm. Smalley would have been balling out mm, because mm. he was the most fucking Bluetooth thing. Mm. Like, but there was yeah. loads of them, like MC Sparky D, I remember, uh, like MC Lyric, all, all them guys, like they, they were all like Bluetooth kings, like, yeah. Like, yeah, just like proper back of the bus shit, like that's where they get, that's where they get played. Yeah, no, we had, um, we had, because I was at school, so we had a golden <laughs> time every Friday, yeah, if we collected enough penny <laughs> in the big jar. Throughout the week via good behavior. Yeah. Oh my yeah. God. We got fifteen minutes or twenty minutes Stop at the end on a Friday. Of, yeah. uh, what's going on here? And we would oh, so I would I would hoard as many, I would try to stockpile as many songs because yeah. I had like I had a couple guys who had older brothers who tapped into the lime wire yeah. and that. That's so they had all yeah. right there, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I never I never sussed it, I never knew how to work it. Yeah. CDs, man. Before anyone knew how to download shit, I used to sell yeah. I used to sell people would come to me, I was the like the mixtape king. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. then I came back one summer and everyone figured out how to do it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, man. You lost your cred. The mixtape king. That was so funny. Um what the how I used to record when I first started recording, I'm talking like when I was like 10, 11 years old, I would download a bunch of instrumentals off LineWire, mm-hmm. burn a CD of those instrumentals. Wow. Put the, put, the, put the CD in a CD player. How old were you when you did this? 10, 11 years 10 old. 10 years wow. old. Put the CD player in. From the day. In, put the CD in a CD player. I'd use my MP3 player, you know those little pen ones with the USB stick. Yeah. yeah. They all used to have mics. 
People never, people never really realise yeah, that they, they all used to like, yeah. record on them. Wow. So I used to turn like the CD player to like fucking a, a million. Fucking <laughs> put the C, put the MP3 player on record and like just scream. Yo. Like, like and then just like put it between me and the CD player. That they were like my first like recorders. Oh. So, like, the quality. What did you go on there? Was it Sue Sven? Yeah, yeah, it was Sue Sven. Yeah. Damn. The quality the was fucking Seuss. dreadful, man. I had it hard drive with them all on, clipping. and I've lost it somewhere <laughs> in my house. Yeah, I can see the audio clipping. Was it was it was it was it, was it, was it terrible even at that time? Did you acknowledge it as terrible? Like no, as terrible no, like yeah, sound wise? I thought I was the fucking. You thought it was <laughs> yeah, man. Because <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was the only rapper in the northeast for a start. So yeah. Automatically makes me the Seuss best rapper. That. In the Seuss Seuss that. Um, and then yeah, man, it was just like yeah, like I, I just you know. In my head at the time, and like looking back, I mean, bear in mind, I was like literally like 10 years old. <laughs> like at the time, like I, I didn't see too much of a difference between like what I was doing and what like Eminem was doing uh -huh. because yeah. I had such a narrow view of what rap was. Right. That like I was like, mine sounds like this, his sounds like this, it's basically the same. Yeah. I mean, it is now. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, now. yeah but like, <laughs> like, you know, like all those guys, 50 Cent, like OB, like, all that, that shady aftermath you even think, I would literally listen to. Like yeah, like, wow. I mean, it definitely wasn't. It was. like, looking back, it 100% wasn't nowhere fucking near. Yeah, That's wow. interesting. Yeah, because I think, like, for me, it was the opposite. I was, I would do things like that, but I knew that it was poor, and that's why I never, like, put it out into the public domain. Because I was rapping at 12, 13. Uh -huh. Didn't put anything out until seventeen because mm. I had very low low self esteem because of the opposite of what you're saying. Yeah, I was like, that's the best way to be because like I put, mm. I, I know I put stuff online mm. like which may not exist anymore. Mm. But somebody somewhere, somebody's got got it. Yeah. Probably got yeah. like some yeah. shit. I, mean, I used to yeah. sell I used to sell my CDs like in school like, nice. like were, a lot of them would be that kind of recording. Um, and then on oh, the upgrade was I got like a. a like not you know, like the, you know, like not was gonna hit you with that in t like five years time. Like, yeah, yeah, you know, like, you know, you know <laughs> the shoe, you know, the shoe G. You know the MSN mics. Like, <laughs> like you know the MNS. Yeah. MSN, yeah. MSN, like, MSN. So you could get like the little grey ones. Like, yeah. Oh like, yes. Oh, <laughs> I forgot about them. And just an antenna. Yeah. Yeah. I've got one of them, and I got Audacity. So that became the new thing. Then, so at least the beats were decent. Quality, uh, just just bro. Yeah, yeah. At least you had the beat, the beat like with the yeah, wabs. So like, yeah. Whereas previously the beat was being recorded, recorded. Yeah, being recorded through speakers. <laughs> you know, memories I mean? unlocked there. That was fun. Um, but yeah, yeah. that was the upgrade. And then fucking, I like that. So like, I know that those tracks exist somewhere. Yeah. yeah. I'd love to be able to be like you and be like, Tabby. I know nobody's got. No, I, that's what a regret of mine is not starting earlier because mm -hmm. I could have had a few years yeah. not that you'd but no one would have realistically no one would have stuck around yeah. well early still yeah, yeah. yeah. By, yeah, yeah. and realistically started. like no, I would have Come never on. I wouldn't have done anything substantial within those three years yeah, that would yeah. they would have picked up any fans do you know what I mean you made it though like, yeah, like, like where, your pen, now, where your pen is at now uh, is there bro I'm glad I def I'm just glad I stuck at writing I've, yeah. oh, I've always written it's weird like it's yeah. the one thing I've never I swear I, I've fallen said out this love. on multiple occasions about love. like I could see you getting into film and writing some mm. funny shit and writing some mm. like clever shit yeah that's what that's what I said he is like as much as I do admire screenwriting and a good script uh, it's never bled out from me yeah the, the writing the screenwriting has never bled out from me the what same way like, uh, rap has doing, but doing it might treatments do it, it might do like, some yeah, yeah, yeah. like doing treatments or dialogue say you had a story and mm. you had to make it into dialogue I've done it yeah I've done it that. definitely at yeah, uni and, and college and yeah. even in my own personal time but yeah. it's never it's never nothing's crafted it's never bled onto the typewriter you yeah. know it, it's always been you think some felt come more, more naturally to you. yeah Although, although shooting film now, yeah, uh, like shooting the videos, the that that's more natural now as well. Right. I almost yeah. enjoy that more. Almost yeah, you, not quite. From there, I've seen like the angles you've tried and like mm. the, you know, some of the transitions mm. you've tried as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's crazy, man. Yeah. So let's um, let's talk about that new Kendrick then. All right. Let's go into it. You go for You go for it. Yeah. Because uh, have you listened to the, have you listened to the you have you listened to it back to front? I have. Have you, you have. listened to it back to front? I have twice. Okay, I've listened to four cuts. The first four cuts I've listened to. With an artist this this big and how cocky he came on um, what's it called? 
Damn. Damn. Da, no, uh, the Baby Keem record, Family Ties. Oh, Family Ties. He was like, I'm smoking your whole top five, right? Yeah. How hard he came on that and what he's delivered here. Not, not to take away from it, but like, Didn't. I was expecting Four? the hardest album of the year, mm. potentially. That's not what I got. Mm. I definitely it is an album I think people need to digest. Mm. But this long, this much of a wait, I was kind of expecting something. Oh, that's, really? that's something I've not thought yeah. about actually. Like, yeah, it was five years between Dan and this one. I mean, Cole, it doesn't sound like five years. Is, oh. it, is it as hot as the uh, the off season? Nah, nowhere near. You know what I mean? Well, uh, it's, 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 it's like you said. I think it needs time to digest. Like, it's a different album. Let it sit. Let it sit. It is foolish. It is foolish to compare because the different albums are talking about. But that is the, well, on the one as a hip hop fan as a fan of music yeah. I'm looking forward to Travis Scott's now to hopefully fill that void yeah. like, I um, wanted some like bangers bro yeah. okay, um, okay. On the, on, so the fucking like how many slaps has it got bro although it's true that every Kendrick album I'm turning into academics a bit <laughs> 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 but although it's true that every Kendrick album needs digesting mm, yeah very much so, so. Every other one except Pimp Butterfly, which I know that I'm wrong in this because I know it's supposed to be a classic, but I mm. just can't get away with it at all. But um, for every other Kendrick album on first listen, I've enjoyed it more than this. So I know yeah. it needs yeah. digested, but like I should still enjoy it more. Mm. Um, but having said that, there are some bangers on it. Yeah, like, yeah. Not, there not, are. not bangers in that sense, I just mean like tracks that I, I really I will like. be hitting on um, the, Yeah, it will be on rotation and for like, sure. After a few more listens, maybe there'll be more. But mm. I'd, I hadn't thought about the actual. There's some deeper cuts on this. I don't think. Particularly the second half. Yeah. They're just really deep. Like, it's deep. I appreciate it, you know. Mm -hmm. But am I going to be playing it all the time? No. Probably not. He's that hurts. That hurts. It stings. A but but bit. every but I'm an album guy, so sometimes yeah. like on a, on a night I'll listen to a whole album start to finish. You know okay, I mean? okay, like, okay. I enjoy that experience. But and like, in terms of talking about just day to day, Kendrick mm -hmm. is a start to finish guy. Yeah. It's not like I, I've always thought that about Ken. That, that's why I didn't really fuck with Kendrick for a long time because you, I, you I, just I you had to get it. Yeah, yeah, I didn't realize yeah. that you have to. It's more about the oh, overall I'm so image. Really, I'm so really good with the Kendrick shit. Yeah. Like it, I see it on Twitter all the time. Yeah, because they've seen the it's song with, with Taylor it's, Swift it's, and they think, yeah, 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 who's yeah, this guy? Why is he like, you know. ADHD, mm -hmm. uh, swimming pools, uh, you know, and a couple, of other, a couple of other things. They haven't Humble. done the, the deep dive. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I, mean, I love ADHD and I, I love swimming pools. Yeah, they're like, bangers. Like, they're the only Kendrick songs you've heard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't understand why you don't think he's as good as everybody yeah. says. Like you say, he's definitely a. Yeah, that, that hit me up and said, this is the first Kendrick album he's listened to and he loves it. And I was like, bro, like, they're all like that. It's like yeah. you have to listen to it. Yeah, you know he, I mean? he's not J Cole. He's yeah. not gonna cut. He's not gonna be doing like multi-slavic no, rhyme no, schemes no. and double entendres always, yeah. right I out mean, the I gate. Mean, he used, very, he used to. He used to be. Uh, it's he not, bro, like, it's very when he was like Section Eight here, he was hungry as fuck. Oh, no, yeah, but not the not every, the same way. Yeah, it wasn't. J Cole cool makes it very obvious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. It's like this is a punchline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like exclamation point. Because someone literally said like as an argument against Kendrick, he's like name one punchline and like bro, I can't. I know, I know. He's not a guy. He's not. He's not a fancy Dan rapper. He's a storyteller. It's the overall like you're looking at it from the macro. Yeah. Not like you're not going in with a like like there's something he says in the first verse that will get revealed in the yeah. third verse yes yeah. yes 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 exactly many times in that's why catalog. I love section 80 yeah. but all the storytelling tracks in section 80 were just like cause I'm not I'm not a huge like storyteller guy in hip hop like mm. like obviously I like songs with like a concept yeah, but you literally ones, like but yeah. you literally like you know like Jimmy went to the store and then he went to the yeah, yeah. Like, no not, not like that stories. but Kendrick yeah but not like Slick Rick Kendrick type story does that's really, cringe really well yeah, where yeah. like he'll do it and you don't even sort of realise yes Mona Lisa yes, yes, that yes, song yes. with Lil Wayne yeah, that, even though he's doing me. it in the same way like yeah. Jimmy went to the store is easily a bar that Kendrick would say mm. but the whole but it's verse, different. The whole yeah, song yeah. and the whole beat and everything like the skits and stuff yeah. like, it all ties together yeah it ties together it's not once upon a time this happened and this happened and that happened like Slick Rick or you know Know, like Jurassic Five type yeah. guys would do. It's um, it's very. He's a unique artist, and, and I think, but yeah, he's just not bar heavy. It's not yeah. bar, and I'm I'm think, I'm bar. I like bars. I think in terms of storytelling, he's up there with Jay for me. Like, yeah, oh, yeah. Jay Jay's storytelling tracks up all. But like content wise, mm. he always has the, the thing with yeah. Kendrick in particular is content wise. He always 
comes heavy. There's mm. a concept. Mm. There's even the songs like whether you like the song or not. But again, there's a concept. But again, five five years to come up with like the concept. And, and yeah, and, uh, I mean, I get some of it. Like there's there's you know you might hear some tap dancing sounds okay. of tap yeah, dancing. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. metaphor is like tap dancing around issues. Yeah. So, so there you go. So there you go. So there's there's that uh, Eckhart Tolle as well. He's there. I heard Kodak Black mention yeah, Eckhart Tolle. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Did, someone, you don't know. You don't know yes, about Eckhart Tolle. Kodak made a point on Twitter about obviously it's his last album with TV. Yes. Someone, oh yeah. Someone was saying that like he, like that it's not as um, gracious as we all think it is. So obviously it seems like from the outside it was the it's very it's very mutual. You know, right. like Kendrick Soft doing his own thing. Like TV, with TV's blessing, blah blah. blah. But someone was arguing that there's no TD artists on this album. Yeah, no. I didn't notice that, yeah. Um, and there's space, it's like having Summer Walker on instead of Scissor. Mm. Ca- like, they kind of offer the same thing, mm. you know what I mean? And having, you know, Kodak Black on there as opposed to someone like Absol. Yeah, yeah. Absol, like, yeah. Um, yeah. But, but... That's a good point. Like, and so they were sort of saying that also, what I was saying about the five years, maybe it's not five years because... They yeah, seem they seem to think that Kendrick went through some shit, and he says on the album he didn't write anything for two years. Yes. Yeah, yeah, they did. I noticed that. But so, it, it, so this person was saying that TDE weren't like supporting him through that time, just kind of making him want to work, mm. and just sort of try. So this sort of album is like, you know, it, 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 it's like great, only bro. three years worth instead of five. Years black, worth. The, the black it's the album almost like though. a slight to TDE, just like here's your final mm. album. I'm, oh, I'm, if, I'm if, like, we could, uh, if we could have oh. got a TDE album, J Rock. Absolutely. Black, Black Heavy, yeah. Um, Schoolboy Q and Kendrick together. <sighs> yeah. yeah. That, yeah. that yeah. tour would be the same, man. That yeah. Vice City song is incredible. Like, if we've got Soul is so good as well, yeah, man. Yeah, Soul's incredible. <sighs> So oh, yeah, he just he dropped something. He just, he just dropped something. Yeah, it was, did. it was, yeah, it was hard. Yeah. Well, I can't remember, I can't remember what you call it, but he, he's somebody who's very wordplay heavy. I love yeah. his wordplays. But again, he slept on. He slept. Yeah. He's underrated. So slept on. But again, like, he's like abstract. We're very abstract. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, obviously, out uh, sounds abstract, but I mean, like it's like yeah, he's very like weird with it, where he won't make it obvious. Yeah. That, like this is the metaphor. Yeah. Yeah, I like it absolutely not, man. He's possibly, possibly my second. He's in the chorus. Right? He used He's to be my favorite until like in TDE. Good Kid, Mad City dropped. Yeah, and then that changed everything. Yeah, I love Section Eighty. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, in but terms of rap, the control if you, if you, system is fucking amazing. If mm. you said like, oh, I don't know now. I'm not a huge Q That's, fan. I'm not a huge Q fan. I like his singles. I like, his ignorant, singles are, his I like singles he writes some ignorant yeah, 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 and I mean that in the are, sense of ignorant. Like he writes some songs that just snap. Yeah, like collard greens. Yeah, just uh, uh, chopsticks, your studio, chopsticks. Yeah, yeah, chopsticks. Like, uh, studio is amazing as well. That's a good point. A singles band, yeah, singles, singles band. band. I always get really hyped for man of the year. Yeah, I always get really hyped for his albums. Like when, it, when, yeah. it, when, it, when that part came out. Yeah, that part. And, and then like the second track of oh. album, that, that uh, yeah. by any means track. Yeah. I was oh. Like, oh, oh fuck! And then like the album was like it was good, it was okay, but like it wasn't. I was wow. it. Yeah. So musically as well I would say with this new Kendrick album like in terms of like musicality mm. there's not that much there's it's quite range no there is there is not that much but like not all in one song and arrangements yeah. aren't crazy mm. I think it's you know good, what I mean it's, a good it's quite medium. minimal in that sense mm. Yeah. Mm. it's a good medium between To Pimp Butterfly which was just mental that was like, maximized that's, that's the, that was maximal that's though. the reason I can't get away with it there's so much inspiration like, going on yeah boss. it's just like a piccolo playing the solo with the same <laughs> right, right, right. and right. it's just like yeah it's just <laughs> that, like both of them are just playing like two different it's just like fucking do you hell. think it's like the producer in you is overload like, yeah you know, maybe it's like it's, I just that's one of the reasons why I can never get away with it and I'm aware yeah. I'm wrong like I know everybody knows it whatever. but like um, I think it's a good medium well, this year between like that has some has some not like that some of his stuff like yeah there's jazz influence for sure but like he brings it to a place where it's like he does it yeah, yeah, yeah. Kendrick's yeah, yeah, yeah. just like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This dick ain't free. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not palatable. <laughs> <laughs> this dick ain't palatable. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you do yeah, hear yeah. lines like that, and you think, what does he mean by that exactly? Like, is that like, is there some? He says it. In the song, does he mean? I pick cotton and made you rich, and I'm a dick ain't free. It's like you saying like the black man is the most sold product in America in every right, sense. Right, right. That's the metaphor. Yeah. And now he's saying this dick ain't free. That that yeah. that's that's. Kendrick is so complex, but it's yeah. not. It's not like ASAP Rock, where he's just using obscure. That's why I was saying about, about this about this new tune with the with the um, 
anti diaries. I, yes. like, I don't know whether that's like it's the coolest, like, most uh, progress, like you know, like sickest, like some transgender at, like, issues, trying to tackle some issues. Some, uh, or whether it's the new when I was in third grade, I thought I was gay. Like, I don't I, because he's so complex and I, I haven't had time to like mm, fully unbox everything. There's layers, yeah, song. there's layers because, like you say, he says the F slur a bunch of times in it, mm-hmm. and people are like, sort of, he puts it in context, but yeah, but but is the con you know what I mean? Like, it's I haven't unboxed the full context yeah. yet, so I don't know whether he's he's. I don't know whether I agree with him. I agree with him. You know what I mean? I don't know how comfortable I am with him, like with using st- like those words and stuff. Yeah. And like, but at the same time, like I know artistic freedom, whatever. Like, yeah, yeah. And he does unbox it where he talks about the white girl issue yes. and, and, and like all that stuff and comparing. Yeah. Like, so. Yeah, man, I really don't know, but I, 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 that's the thing with Kendrick. Like, I'm gonna listen, even though that song wasn't one of my favorites on the album, just musically. Mm. Like, I'm gonna listen to that track loads feel, of times because I want to know exactly sort of what he's. I feel mm. damn mm. is like damn won the Pulitzer Prize as well. That is like a mm. body of work and about like mortal sins and stuff like that and heaven and hell. So there's like a lot of his idea. I feel like this album, he was he very much was taken on the current climate. Mm. Mm-hmm. A lot of things in this tells me that shaped the way like if a lot of this stuff wasn't going on, this album. There's a thing about cancel culture. He says, he's addressing cancel yeah, culture. He he's addressing trans transgender issues. Uh-huh. He's addressing uh, sexual violence. But then so I don't know whether that's going to be about. seen as the it, like in a few years time as the virtual. Scene he even talks about like uh, mm-hmm. uh, Kanye. Drake, which is yeah, quite topical, yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. he's like, and he's never been like that topical. Like, if he references not stuff, it's usually stuff from the past. Yeah, it's, it's, it's him, him things him he wrote. Well. Yeah, yeah, he was yeah. on top, people uh-huh. would reference him. So, yeah. yeah, that's a good point. He's never really like analyzed it from the crow's nest, it's yeah. always been Looking what he's back. experienced yeah, yeah, institutionalized yeah. racism yeah. or not 